Uh, hey guys, um, I made my DFU mode video and it seems to be very popular. But the biggest question I get asked is, when you do it, your iPhone or iPod Touch gets stuck on the Apple lo logo, and it doesn't get out of it. So basically, this video is a fix for that, if the DFU doesn't work. So usually, when your iPhone and iPod Touch get out of the DFU and that happens, there's usually something wrong with the boot chain or boot process. Meaning, when you got out of DFU mode, it's not going to fix that problem. So, when you turn on your iPod, it basically, or iPhone, it just has that Apple logo, and if you jailbroke it, it's going to have the pineapple, whatever you made it, it's just going to stay like that. To basically fix this, you would need your computer. So, I'm going to switch over to the laptop. This works for both Mac and PC. I'm just going to use um, Mac for this video. Alright, just like I said before, this works for Mac and PC. Just for this video, I'm going to be using Mac, uh, Mac, yeah. So, um, what you're going to have to do is, is plug in your iPhone or iPod Touch to your computer and open up your iTunes. Once it's open, it probably won't detect your device. So, to detect, detect it, you're going to have to go back into DFU mode. If you don't know how, you just hold, take both your, take your device and plug into the computer. Hold both the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then release the power and continue holding the home for about another 10 more seconds. And your computer should find your iPhone or iPad Touch. Then when it finds it, you will have to restore it. And if you want to restore it to, let's say you're on an old firmware and you want to stay on it. You wait for Mac and hold Alt. For Windows, you want to hold Shift. Then while you're holding it, hit Restore. Then you can choose your update you want to go to. But the reason why you have to restore is, like I said before, there's a problem with the device, and just getting an idea if you're not going to fix it because there's a problem with it. So you basically have to restore it to fix it. You Once you restore it, and if you have a backup of it, you can restore from backup, even though if your backup has the problem in it, then that won't work. But if you backed up before that, it will work, and you have all your stuff back. So, um, this is basically what you would do to fix the boot chain process or when your iPhone or iPod Touch gets stuck in a boot logo. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, feel free to ask me any video questions you might want or suggestions. And I'll see you guys in the next video.